So, when we left off, we were calculating variance, which we said is the average of the squared differences. And in our Excel worksheet, I had all my observations, in this case they happen to be rent values, I had calculated the mean or the average, which we do by summing up all those observations and dividing by the 70 observations that we have. Okay? And we subtract from each individual observation the mean that we calculated. Now, a lot of students try to, try to jump ahead and sum up all the rents and start summing up all these subtracted averages. But we have to go back to our formula. And the formula says what we do inside of the parentheses, that comes first in our mathematical order of operations. The next thing is that we take that difference that we've just computed and we square it. So back in our spreadsheet, what does that look like? Well, we have the observations. We subtracted the average from each and every one. Now, I'm going to call this column squared because in this next column, we need to simply multiply each and every uh, one of those differences by itself. So equals, all formulas in Excel start with an equal. The value that's in, for example, B2 times, that's an asterisk, B2 again. How easy is that? Now it's squared. I can press enter on my keyboard and then just simply copy that to all the cells. Now see what's happening here is I copied that to the next line. I did that by selecting the cell with the formula, putting my mouse over that little notch at the corner. See the notch? Okay. When I get this thin black plus sign, press and drag, and then within each formula now it's B3 times B3, B4 times B4, B5 times B5. Okay, and I'm going to copy that to all the cells all the way down. I'm just doing this uh, kind of piecemeal. So uh, remember, you can always pause, rewind the video, and play certain pieces again if I'm going uh, too fast for you here, okay? Okay, let me just kind of keep on going now. Now, my data ends in 71. Now, for each and every observation, I've subtracted the mean, and then that value that I got when I subtracted, I've now squared it for each and every observation. So I have 70 of them, right? I've got to have 70 individual values. So what do I do next? I sum. See how on this top line here it says I subtract, I square, and then I sum. And that's the order that this goes in. Now, Excel can make this easy peasy, okay? I'm going to click below. I'm going to put that cell in yellow just so you can see it real well. And Excel has an auto sum function. It's just a little bit off my screen here. See the sigma? Sigma means sum. Just like in our formula back here, sigma means sum. Press that sigma button. That's your auto sum button. It says, hey, does your data start in C2 and go through C71? Mine does. If not, I would change it. Hit the enter key. It says, okay, then that's the total. Well, then what's the rest of my formula? It says lowercase n, and we discussed that that's our number of observations, and we had 70, minus 1. Well, I, why don't I do that in Excel? Equals 70 minus 1. Big surprise. That came out to 69. And it said if I take this number and divide it into my total, I will come up with s squared, which is my variance. Move this over a little bit more so you can see that's my variance, right? So I'm going to say this is the variance equals, all formulas start with equal, this sum of the differences, right? And then I'm going to divide, that's a forward slash on your keyboard, by n minus 1. Voila! 3013.765 and remember Excel knows exactly uh, the values of all those decimal places that follow because we really haven't rounded. Now very quickly what if I wanted to check my work? I can use Excel to do that. Now remember for your test and for your homework you have to be able to show the steps but I want to know and I want to make sure I've got the right answer. Remember this function button that will help us find functions I'm going to say I need to know how to calculate the variance. And Excel is going to tell me there's a lot of formulas for calculating the variance. Well, if I took time and read, VAR is the formula. I would put that in there. And I'm going to have to start that over on another video so that we have some time. Okay? Thanks.